Hello everyone, Captain Cuddles here, and today we are going to play Don't Starve, and we are going to start a new game. I play as Wilson, the stock original starter character. Since most people who buy this game are going to be like, Oh dang, look at all these cool characters! However, I'm going to be playing as Wilson, since Wilson is a stock character. And most other people will play as other characters like Willow or Wendy. And I haven't played this game in that forever, so maybe new stuff that I don't understand. Probably is. I haven't played this game since like October of 2013. So I know Wilson still grows a beard. That that's awesome. Because the beard is one of the most important survival tactics. For example, when you become puncher, you'll need your beard. And well, let's get started on our adventure. Ooh, we already found a thing, so all I gotta do is build a pickaxe first. Find the box, get more flint. First day. Leave me alone. <laughs> that leave me alone. I didn't do anything to you. I'll just run it off screen. There you go. Now it'll go away. And we're back. Sorry about that. Anyways, what you'll first want to do is you'll want to get gold. Well, the first thing you should do is get food, and then you build a pickaxe. And then mine these rocks with the cracks in them, so that'll give you flint rocks and gold, which you'll need to build the science machine. You can see right here, science. Now all we need is blocks. So perfectly can do this all within day one. That's amazing. However, oh, sometimes you're spawning back to a lucky thing to get spawned right next to a savannah? Would that be the correct term? I'll call it savannah. So, we're not enough to build a science machine. Apparently, what you want to do is you not want to stay and spawn. Right. So we are going to go to science machine. Uh, I'd say over here. First spin. You have one here. Now see we're fine. So you want to make a So yeah, you want to make a rope. This rope can be used to make some of the that be here you are. With the rope, you will able to make a straw bowl if you want, or what you should do, backpack, which of course you don't need to do, I thought you did. And it's like rusty. So we need... Ah, bees! See, once you get enough armor, what you want to do is you want to attack bees because they contain honey, which can be eaten, but also be used to make honey cool to eat. So, so I think. Okay. Because right now, since we do not have any reason to go over there, we do not want to have to take the bees. 
flowers. Find me being eaten. We'll give you health. Also picking them up. We'll reduce. We'll give you more sanity. Right here. See when it turns dusk, your sanity goes down. At a very hot at a medium rate. When it turns night though, when you're out of the dark all by yourself. You are a mob. Then will be dropped at an increased rate. What we're going to do now is we're going to get 12 rocks to build a campfire near the soccer scene and have our own little base camp. But probably what you want to do is um, uh, you want to keep the campfire alive during all night with some uh, refined materials. The best being boys, it'll set into a full fire. And now, what is that all rocks? Now there should be some more. See what you want to do is you want to get back to your camp or your base by nightfall. Especially if you don't have a torch and so it looks like we're gonna have to get more sticks before we die. Don't wanna go insane on the first day. I'm stuck seeing hallucinations. Tonight we build a campfire, so there's a much better fire pit. There's a base. Also we use a recipe. Now preferably what you want to do is you want to cook your vegetables and your meat. So here we get roasted carrots and here we'll get a roasted berries or roasted berries. So what they'll do is that they'll give you more food, but they'll spoil faster. Let's see our toasted seeds. And our roasted potatoes. There we go. And now we wait. Fine. You can also refine cut stone. Once upon getting all the fine materials, you can build an alchemy engine. So lots more crafting recipes. And upon getting gears, nightmare fuel, and a twig, you can um, uh, build a binding rod, which will lead you to all the parts you needed to construct Maxwell's door, I think. I can't remember. But doing so allows you to technically complete that game. But it'll, the world will still be playable, as far as I think. Kind of like it being the Ender Dragon in Minecraft. You know what, I should continue with the Minecraft Let's Play. And thus is his day. What we'll do now is we'll go out mining some more rocks. I wish I would have barbed there instead of uh, having a campfire there. Mining this. Now, now you see, since we use those logs, we're gonna need to chop down. So we're gonna need to do some more deforestation. Now, see right here the mushrooms. This is a very huge risk. So you see, certain mushrooms do certain things. For example, the red mushroom, I think, gives you more health but makes you hungry, or gives you more health but makes you sanity more. So yeah, however, roast mushroom we have, I need to clean the pot. Let's go to our science machine. That'll go to the fire pit. At 
leave these up right now, though. Yeah. If you, um, uh, build a crop up, which requires three cut stones, six charcoal, and six twigs, you can, um, uh, cook meats in here, and adding vegetables will make ratatouille. We're gonna try and make a crop up. What we'll need is a... this. So also, adding a, um, uh, mushroom cap to a, um, uh, fire pit will cause it to be, um, uh, still deadly to you. But it will turn anything in into ratatouille, so it's a gamble move. Wondering you know, how you get charcoal. You can get charcoal. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need a torch. Oh my god, what are the stocks are? And you're gonna want to avoid the frog. What is possible? Frogs are nothing but bad news. See how our insanity goes up? We pick flowers. Also, you can build a trap, which will capture rap. Ooh, ring This is a combo. If you get the dining rod, you'll have to find these. Oh. And what you want to do is you want to bait the trap with carrots or berries. Rabbits will take either. Oh, we're using berries will um, uh, cause, um, cause a turkey to come and try and take them, which is never fun. Shovel. Yeah. Fine. We could build a right around, however, we are going to make a crop pot, so we need more sticks. Before that, we'll build a torch to get charcoal. And start fire. And we'll wait for this to burn out. Oh my god, I burned the meat high. So that is two of the six we need. Might as well, yeah. Might as well make a drying rack instead. First we'll build a trap. So six twigs and two sticks. Yeah. Two twigs, six pieces of grass. Okay, now we need twigs. Which, of course, I'm thinking about moving this series to only about twice a day. Two, three days. So that way, when day three ends, I'll be when we end the recording, and we'll make the next one. Great. Now here we have our trap. Now what do we need for doing that? We need a rope. So we come back to our campfires. It's on the side of the road. These are actually called paths. I call them roadways. No idea why. We need to add more fuel. Nice and comfy indeed. Lost the next place. 
Okay, that's scary. And now we'll see if we'll be useful for a trap right here. We'll need uh, silk help. We're gonna get silk, we need to kill spiders. Paprius, how do we get paprius? That way, when it does begin to rain, no, you don't. You can't, however, put cooked carrots in a giant bag. So three twigs and three loaf. When day three ends, I'll be when we end the recording. And I feel like the fire's gonna go out, and I can do nothing about it. So when the fire does go out, I'll just equip the torch. I'll be well. I need to be going down. Might as well equip the torch. And hmm. We want to get the little grass or the grass pad specifically. Here it is. What we need? Three and I said we need three ropes, so that's nine. We need nine grass. That's one rope. Oh, we can't get a fire fire with this one. Let me get some picture of what's going on. We need now one more twig and then we can build a giant rack. the dry ones. Dry land. Just need one more twig, that's all I need. Twigs do grow back, however it takes forever. Ah, frogs. There you go. So cooked red caps do feel health. They drop them they drop sanity. Cooked red caps, however, drop less sanity and I believe for more help. Not too sure on that. Oh, right. Should try some meat.
I don't have the words in like last night, or I don't know. Fuel from the fire. Myself, I'm recording a video. Recording a video. Ah, there you go. There you go. Now we have another one. We can go the next again. Be my fun. If you ever play in a Bioshock and you ever use the bees, okay, I can't remember. I want to say plasmid, but I know that's probably not what they're called. People get angry about it. <laughs> Sign rotate with you. Mm. And once the game saves on day four, that'll be when we end the video. Swap on the fire. Thank you for watching, this has been Captain Cuddles, signing off.